Want to see how I achieve this look? Doing mini braids in my natural hair? Keep watching. Next. Welcome, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you don't know me, I'm Cristela V. Please leave a like, comment, and share my content. Also, don't forget to subscribe and turn on all post notifications. But without further ado, let's get into this video. So today's video, I'm doing mini braids on my hair. Haven't done it in a long time, but yeah. So to do this, I'm using the Eco Styler Gel Black Castor Oil version. Then I'm using the Blue Magic Coconut Oil Conditioner. And then of course, you're gonna use water to saturate the hair before we start the process. And my rat tail comb to part my hair. So as you can see, I'm already starting by parting the back of my hair. I'm doing a straight line. Then I'm spraying each section of my hair with water. That's to saturate it before I start braiding it. And then I would just comb it out with my white tooth comb. Once I'm done doing that, I would start to part these little boxes. Like as if you were going to do box braids. And once I do that, I just twist, slightly twist each section. And this is just to help me go faster because instead of like parting it, twisting it, parting it, and twisting it, you know, you just do that one time and then you just start braiding. So I would spray my hair with the water. Then I would use the coconut oil, blue magic on my roots. I would moisturize that in my roots so I can create some moist. And then I would also put some on my ends as well, which play a role in protecting your ends. And that is very important because your ends are fragile and we need it to be well protected. Then I go in with the Eco Styler Gel and I apply it to the body of the hair. And I basically just do what I said in previous videos, which is raking it in and rolling it on with the other hand. So it's just the same process over and over to each section, raking it, rubbing it, raking it, rubbing it. So yeah, enjoy! Okay, so quick tip, I always curl the ends of my hair. I never leave it exposed because that can cause some damage. So I would apply a gel, I would twirl it around my finger and then pull it down after. And that's gonna create a curl and just gonna bounce back up. And it just makes the hairstyle way more cuter than just leaving it flat out or By the way, if you're into movies, I would definitely recommend I'm From the Cold because it's full of surprises, full of action, and I really love it. But yeah, I got a little distracted by it, but I still doing what I have to do. Okay, so as I reach at the ends of my hair, um, I don't just leave it all exposed like that. I would turn it into two strands and twist it. 
and then I would add gel to it and then I would finger coil it at the ends to create a curl and that's also just to protect the ends of your hair but also to make the hairstyle look very cute so Okay, so this is easier done than said, but I'm gonna try my best to explain this. So braiding is very easy and simple. It's pretty basic. Every natural note is supposed to know how to do it, but I'm still gonna explain how I do it. So I started by taking the piece of strand that I have in my right hand, and I would pass it underneath besides the one in the middle. And then from my left hand, I would take the strand and pass it underneath. And I'm just doing that over and over and over and over. So they're switching rows each time. And I'm just passing it on a neat as if the strands on the right and left side is replacing the one in the middle. Um, this is kind of hard to explain, honestly. I'm pretty sure there's plenty of YouTube tutorials um, to show exactly how to do this. I can't really explain it, but I hope that that was somewhat helpful. <laughs> I don't think so, but anyway. <laughs> So yeah, I just add additional gel to the end of my hair and I twist it around my fingers and then when it's hooked around, I kind of just pull it down and when you leave it go, it will spring back up into a curl. So that's just basically how I curl the ends of my hair. Okay, so I forgot to mention this. It's completely optional, but I use the coconut oil hair conditioner at the roots of my hair at each part in, and this is just to help my scalp to stay moist. As a child growing up, my mom always used to do this for me, and it would always promote growth. So I still do it now because that's what worked for me. I don't know if people do this, but I think it's a great idea, and it helps me avoid um, hair problems like dandruff and um, so on. So yeah, it works for me. I really love this hairstyle because it's very beneficial for growth and it helps with keeping the moisture in your hair. If you have thinner hair, this is probably going to go faster and easier. But as for me, I have thicker hair so this is taking like hours. I mean when you watch this, it's probably a couple minutes. But it takes me hours. But 
it's worth it. So whenever I'm done with any braiding or twist hairstyles, I always use the most at the end. And right now, as you can see, I use the Shea Moisture Coconut and Hibiscus Frizz Free Curl Mousse. And I will just apply it to the whole entire braid. And yeah, super simple. This is just to get the shine and to just for the finishing touch. So yeah, I really like how this came out. It's super cute. And um, like I said before, this hairstyle is very beneficial for growth because your hair is protected. And what's also great is that you can do many hairstyles with the braids. And I might actually post a video about that. But anyway, if you made it to the end of this video, thank you so much. And um, don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye!